All right, hello everyone. Go on, Luke's here. Uh, we are on to, I think this will be episode five. Uh, let's see. We just did, or I just did my first horde night, and it was very hectic. Um, I'll go and show you guys the damage of the uh, the building that we were doing it on, but me and my friend just did it together, and I leveled up a lot. I am now level 23. Um, I've gotten some new armor because I did a couple quests with him as well. Uh, he's been doing tier 4 quests when I was only doing tier 2. Um, and then we did the Horde Knight together and I was able to fully max out this skill tree. I also put a lot into Deadeye so that my uh, now I have a level action rifle instead of a pipe rifle. Um, so that this does more damage so that now every time I well I do more damage 40% more damage and then I also have a kill streak uh, side effect as well so if I get successive kills then I'll do a bunch of bonus damage as well um, so I have a level action rifle for that which is better than all of the other pipe rifles so I've been using that for now and uh, it's been very good Oh, and then I was able to get this as well, Oops. which is a nail gun, um, which its most useful function is uh, you can upgrade uh, parts of buildings much quicker. So normally I'd use my axe and go like that, but now I can use my nail gun and just boop, and then I can upgrade stuff really quickly. And so I've also got a couple more materials now, and I can also make an upgraded fire. There we go. So now I can make everything. Yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff. So that I just upgrade my house a little bit, and then show you guys the damage of that horde night that we did, and then I'd go off and complete a quest or two. Just chat. And I do apologize, this nail gun is very loud. Um, I can't really get around it, unfortunately. Um, let's take them out of that. Upgrade some more to concrete. Let's see. Hmm. That's good enough for now. I think that we've gone through all of that. So yeah, I've had some really good upgrades. Um, my friend also took, broke into one of my chests while we were playing together and took everything, which is why this is empty. And uh, he gave he gave all of it back, thankfully. Like, he did take some dynamite, which uh, was definitely used <laughs> on uh, the Horde Knight. But let me... Let me show you guys the damage of this place, and then, actually, let me first pick up a quest really quick. Let's see if there's one over in the direction over there, like eastward. Yeah, what do you want? All right, nice. Look, Bunkhead, do I'll that. Be, what All right, are you perfect. standing there for? Don't you have work to do? All right. So, uh, when I got this bike last episode, a new special quest was unlocked as well. And I was able to visit a new trader. Uh, I think their name is Jill. Trader Jill. Um, but I went to the Burnt Forest area, which is over southwest, over in that direction. And did a mission or two with her uh, with my friend as well um, and they were tier 4 missions so the zombies were a lot more difficult there were a couple feral and radioactive ones which uh, was kind of crazy 
Let's see. I think this is the house right here. Yeah. Um, stuff kind of got crazy, to say the least. This house used to be completely intact when we first started. I think just like the front door was a bit broken down uh, because my friend had originally done the first Hort Night in this space. And uh, the zombies had simply gone up the stairs, which I think the staircase was around here. Because um, we're missing a second floor. <laughs> and uh, the base was fine. The house was fine after the first Hort Night that we did. Or that he did, because he did it on his own. But then second Horde Night, the one that we just did together, uh, there were a lot of zombies, a lot of more difficult ones too, and they destroyed the house. Um, it was pretty chaotic. And we were talking together, so I did mute the recording, but I'm going to be putting some uh, music in the background, and it's still going to be pretty good. It's, uh, it's pure chaos, so. Let's see. Yeah, having this bike is so nice for getting around now. It's my, uh, my, like, walking speed on the bike is as fast as my sprinting speed. So getting around is so much faster now. I'm still getting lag spikes here and there, and I'm not sure why, because my friend isn't getting any. but looted, which is not surprising. I also got a better spear as well. I now have a uh, a tier 4 iron spear, which is a lot more damage. Good. I definitely need some food, so I will be kind of taking my time with this quest. I can see him on the map. Where is he, though? Is he just... Oh. Right there. Yeah, I'm one-shotting zombies right now. Oh, the Horde Knight will do that to you. It'll get you so much XP, as long as you survive. If you, uh, if you get killed over and over again, though, then, uh, not as fun. Let's see, a small food pile. Nice. Probably should have dropped some of this stuff off at my base before doing this, but it's fine. It's so nice being able to just one-shot zombies. Where did you come from? Did they fall from the ceiling? My goodness. Yeah, getting that these armor books is going to be very good. Uh, my friend actually told me that he spent an hour or two just going around the map to known bookstore locations and raiding them and looking in bookcases and such so that he can get uh, as many of those book uh, schematics as possible. Uh, and he was able to make max tier armor. So he has tier 6. Uh, armor now, so he is very well protected, which I definitely need some of that. I'm gonna need to make some of that at some point. Um, however, I really don't know if I'm dedicated enough to go around the map and spend the time doing that. That does sound like a bit of a hassle, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> And I will be looking at all these toilets, yes, and finding some of this water, because, or the murky water, I should say, uh, because I can now turn it into regular water. And I've been kind of struggling with keeping enough water on me. Excuse me. It's because I missed the headshot, so I didn't one-shot him. But yeah, water has been kind of short recently. Oh, a wrench. That'll be nice. Wrenches are good for breaking down cars. And I can scrap cars with it. And uh, get mechanical parts, which you need to make 
Which you need to make a... Uh... You need to make different vehicles and stuff with those. So yeah, doing the rest of these tier 2 quests should be more of a breeze now. Especially since I'm doing so much more damage. And, uh... This is so gonna break before I open it. Oh. Okay, nice. Um... Oh, got an upgraded shotgun. Nice. Looks like a bookcase as well. Or a book crate. There we go, that was broken. Let's see. Nice. It's nice that I'm getting all these schematics. Another wrench. Gosh, it'll be good to have. I can give it to one of my friends. Or sell it to them. Who knows? Probably just give it to them. Alright, let's get out of here in a second. Need to find the supplies, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be there. Aha. Yep, there we go. Please don't break anything. Okay, nice. I am hungry, so I'm going to eat. We'll eat this. Let's head outside. Hello? I not? Okay. I never checked this spot, or this garage area here. There's probably a zombie in here. There you are. And this thing just broke. Which, to fix it, I need a repair kit. Yep, just used one right there. Anything of higher quality, like iron or steel, you're going to need repair kits to fix them. And to make repair kits, you need duct tape and, I think, forged iron. Uh, which is why I've been collecting all of the glue and duct tape that I find. Because you can mix glue and water uh, together to make uh, duct tape. Now look at that, we've got a tier 3. Stone axe, we will take that, read that, and take these things. These blueberries, why not? I don't really need that. It's probably a loot bag up here. Yep, there we go. It's okay, interesting. A sledgehammer. Sledgehammers do a lot more damage, but also take a lot more stamina, too. Like here. So, yeah, that did. Uh, 71 damage compared to if I hit it with this. It only does 14. Although it does take more stamina, so... I don't really think I'll be using a sledgehammer much. Alright, let's get out of here. Where is my bicycle? It's over here. I'm gonna loot this car too, actually. For this truck. Alright, I'm going to take the bottle of acid because that's actually useful to have. I can use those for certain things. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, we are on the way. The only thing the bike struggles with sometimes is going up hills. Um, if it's too steep, the bike just will not go up it. And the bike can also take damage, like in the bottom right corner you can see it says 93%. And it says that because I bumped into a couple of obstacles. Um, and if it reaches 0%, I don't think the bike will like disappear, but you won't be able to ride it because it's broken. And the only way to fix your bike is with a repair kit, which I do have one left, but I don't want to waste that on this bike when I can just not hit anything, <laughs> so... Ugh, I'm gonna try and be careful with it.
put well I guess I'm gonna have to pay you oh, now that you did pie, it. Pie, bandages, lock picks. I'm gonna go with blueberry pie just because I've been struggling with food recently. Alright, let's do another job. Thankfully. I don't like you. Wait. You've got some Ooh, infested clear. Coming. I'm gonna yeah, do that. Don't just stand there with I'll show you uh get the job done. If it's an if it's an infested area, then there should be twice as many zombies in there, which means more XP. Which also means uh, there should be an infested cache that I can collect at the end. And uh, that's going to have some ammo in it, hopefully. So I'll show you guys what that actually looks like. stuff into here. Um, I don't really need a first aid kit on me right now. I don't need that. I'm gonna cook that. I'll keep this on me in case I get thirsty. I'll keep these on me in case I get hungry. Actually, I don't need this. I should be fine with just this. I'm not going very far right now. Alright, perfect. And I'm going to Cook all of that, get some more water going. You're looking good. And I can store stuff in my bike as well if I if I get too much. So should be good though. Alright, so in case you don't know what an infested clear is, uh an infested clear is essentially I think going to uh I think it's just there are twice as many zombies at that location uh that you have to kill and uh, at the end of uh the POI when you reach the final boss room or the final zombie room where there are a bunch of zombies in there there should be a zombie cash uh, with some good loot some good ammo in there so hopefully uh that's what this is because normally it would just say clear the area if it was a normal zombie clear but it says clear the infested area so i'm pretty certain that this is an infested location an infested mission Look at how fast we got over here. If we were running, then it would have taken twice as long, easily. So. Oh, this is such a small location, though. Let me take care of these guys beforehand. Alright, we're gonna eat some of this to make sure that we are at full stamina. Near it, at least. Will that be enough food? It will. Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Hold up, there should be... Let me loot this really quick. Hopefully in time. Yeah, there should be a way to... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, this, I think this is more zombies than normal. Um, but yeah, you can uh, blow up... <laughs> area <laughs> by shooting the red barrels which I think normally have gasoline in them so surprise surprise if you 
shoot it enough, it will blow up. <laughs> oh, nice, an engine. Uh, that is something that you need for... There's something under there. There is. That's An engine is what you need that for creating uh, certain vehicles. Oh, two repair kits. That's awesome. Let's see if you can do any of this. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna throw on a bandage. Um, just to get my health back up to max. Hit this wood. Very good. Perfect. Anything back here? Nope. Alright, looks like we have to go up from here. I wonder if you hit that enough, it would blow up. Well, I don't want to test that. I think that the final loop is up here. Ah, Felicia. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. Where are these guys falling from? Where's this other guy? There's one there. Yeah. And that is it. And yep, this is the infested cache right here. So these will spawn in the uh, at the end of the infested missions in like the final room with all the loot. If you lurk in it, it has some ammo and stuff. Usually a lot of ammo. So getting all of this from uh, just a tier 2 quest is pretty sick. Let's see, Spear Hunter. I've already read this though, so I'll keep it. See if I can give it to one of my friends. I'll use that. What is this? A bartering hat. Interesting. I'll keep it. I don't think I'm going to use it anytime soon. But I will keep it for sure. Break inside of here. So yeah, I think that you're able to do one infested mission uh, per day. So I don't think that I'll have another available one until tomorrow. Uh, In-game, not IRL. I think, at least. Just eat some cornmeal. Why not? Alright, I think that that's everything. Let's see if I can... I have some machetes. To be waited. I don't think that'll get applied to my spear, will it? Oh, you can. You can't. I lied. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, is there anything up here? Oh, small ammo pile. We'll take it. We'll take it. Alright, now we gotta be careful getting down here. Because uh, I already broke my leg earlier during the Horde night. Because my friend decided to, uh... Well, he, apparently he a zombie hit him and fractured his leg or something. And uh, he decided that uh, it would be nice if <laughs> he hit the block that I was standing on, break it, and... Uh, have me land in the mass of zombies <laughs> that were attacking us. So I ended up breaking my leg, fracturing it, and uh, it also scared the crap out of me because I thought I was going to die. I'm really trying not to die because uh, I'm trying to unlock an achievement where you have to live for 1,000 in-game minutes, or I guess they're, it's IRL minutes. Um... Which, how many hours would that be? Well, it would be six hours IRL in a row that you've lived for. And, okay, so it's just ten hours, basically, I think. Or is it not? Wait, I'm blanking. Um... Wait, I have, a, I have a way to... 
I'm just gonna pull out the calculator. I don't know why I'm struggling with this old. Okay, yeah, it's about 16 hours. And there's also an in-game challenge uh, through these things here. Whoops. These things where you can... Uh, there's some pretty difficult ones, and one of them is surviving for 19 hours in a row. And... So if I... Go ahead and get the achievement done, which is about 16 hours, I believe. Then I might as well keep going and just survive another three hours. Uh, now that you did the job, all right, I guess you ain't that damn bad after all. I'm gonna go with the cobblestone just so I can upgrade my base, and let's see if we can do another mission. Well, come to think. Well, good luck. Well, it looks like um, it. Before we head over there, I'm just going to drop the stuff off at my base, and then I'm thinking after this mission, or maybe the one after, I will end the episode. This will be a bit of a shorter one compared to last episode, at least, or the one before that, episode three, whichever one that is. store much into here. Alright, let's put the rest of it just in here. Why not? Also put that away. We do not need that. Put that. Alright. That's looking pretty good. And I honestly don't think I need the shotgun either. Just because... Uh, if I'm, I like, I just, I just don't need it. Like, my spear is so much better than the shotgun, so. Gonna throw that out, and then, that looks good. I do want to cook that, and take these, um, put that there. Just put the wood in there. There we go. And that'll get done. All right, off to the next mission. Can I cut through here? Yeah, I think I can make that. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually quite high. Uh, well, actually, I can show you guys how this works. You can go and take it. Then I'm just going to climb up the mountain myself, because I don't think the bike would be able to make it up this on its own. Just spam jump, get up over that. I also do want to drink this water and eat this food, because it is nerfing my stamina right now. Just that I don't break anything, I'm gonna kinda shivy down this. So I don't take any great falls. There we go. Hold on a second, is this the farmhouse? Interesting. Alright, there are... Actually, maybe that's the one with the boars. I'm not exactly sure. Also, I just saw... Uh, I needed something. I'm not sure what that was. I thought it was something that I can... Oh, wait. Ow! Oh, didn't realize... So there's advanced ones as well. Did not realize that. Ten thousand XP, that's crazy. 
Yeah, for killing 500 zombies. I did indeed kill a lot of zombies at that Horde Night, so. Alright, let's start this thing. I think that there are supposed to be... Put it out there. I think that there are boars in here. This weapon is very good. I'm going to harvest these guys. I can get a bunch of raw meat and I'll be able to use that to make bacon and eggs, which is a good meal. Um, once I unlock it. I don't think I have it unlocked yet. I don't think I do, at least. At least I checked. I'll take a wire tool. It's good to have any tool that I might need in the future. Um, I'm just not going to be getting any gasoline, because I talked with my friend about it, and he said that it's much faster to just go to the desert, mine some oil shell, and use that. So, whoops. And then, let's see. There we go. Oh, that looks like this is the... We completed this mission. However, I definitely want the end loot. This person's gonna... Well! <laughs> he just fell down! Bye, sir. Still alive? Nope. Brilliant. Alright, just making sure I don't miss any obvious loot spots. Um, some food there. Definitely read that. Take those. Be careful because those floors will break. What? Alright, you know what? Let's just... Why is this thing not broken yet? Come on, guys. This is embarrassing. What are these guys doing? Alright, you know what? I'll just back up a bit and just... Yeah, there we go. Alright. I was trying to wait for them to hit the door a bit and make a hole for me to uh to hit through but they were taking their time with it so didn't really have a chance to oh, I think I can jump into there before I do that though I want to see jump to here hello that right there is a spider monkey or a spider zombie. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're not fun. Nomad headgear. Reload rifles 10% faster. That's definitely good. I don't know where he is. What? What? What is bro doing? <laughs> I 
Nice, we got some more armor ones. Which I need those to upgrade. Ah, uh, yeah, so now I can start making medium armor. So I'm gonna try and jump onto there. Ooh, that was close. Alright. That almost broke on me. Is there anything up here? There is. Got a bag. What's in it? A bandage. Brilliant. That was definitely worth it. Let's see if there's anything down here, though. There's something hiding under one of these hay bales. Is it this one? No. Really? Oh, it has so much health, too. Oh, there's a sealed crate. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay. That is actually worth it. <laughs> Got some good ammo. Alright, let's get out of here now. Might have gone too far, actually, but that is fine. We'll backtrack. Oops. Also trying to get this stuff off. So I'm not encumbered anymore. Yeah, I did go too far. Actually, I can also just... Whoa. Like that, and then I don't think I'll... Yeah, there we go. If I fall down there, I think I'm probably going to break something. I don't know if I can jump up there, though. Uh, actually, I can probably just... Yeah, there we go. Alright, where is this guy? Oh my god! Where did you come from? There we go. Oh my gosh, so noisy. We are back onto the ground, and we are out of here. Loot this truck. We'll be gone. Ooh. Looks like I pressed it twice. follow the road this time because I don't want to run up that mountain again. Ah, hello house that we uh, destroyed. I wonder if there's a mission. Is this an actual... No, it isn't. It would have a skull on it if it was a POI that you could do a mission at. So that house will never be repaired. Oh, and I say that because if you destroy part of a POI, like part of a, a house, and then you start a mission there, it will completely reset the house to how it was before the damage. Uh, which is why sometimes it's nice to go in and loot the building, and then go back out and start the mission, and then you'll get twice as much end loot because of it. Alright. Man, it's so foggy. Where did this come from? I think this will be the last mission I do. Well, damn, Let's see you what we got. Like dead. You better oh, have money. Helmet mods, brace mod. I don't need that. Right. We'll, imagine. we'll just go with the cobblestone. Challenge zombie slayer. Oh, he's giving me something for free. We're definitely gonna take the seven six two ammo. Wow, never expected him to do something like that. So nice of him. And 11,000 XP. Oh my gosh. Looks like I leveled up a lot. Hello. Didn't even realize. So we should be able to max out Deadeye and max out Spearmaster. And yep, this is the big one. Killing blows now grant 30 stamina each. And... Like 50% more damage. So yeah, we're doing good in terms of that. I still have a skill point left over. I wonder what I should invest to next. 
Mm. I'll have to think on that. I'm not going to use that skill point just yet. Now let's head up here and drop off all of this loot that we got. Let's see. Man, I could start putting some of this ammo back because we have so much. And recog is good for uh, getting, uh, for doing more damage. There's another one that's good for getting more XP too. Don't know which one that is though. Yep, we got some raw meat, and I don't know if I have it unlocked yet. But yeah, not yet. I'm almost there. I need two more food schematics. It looks like. Uh, but I can make bacon and eggs, which is just made with, I believe, meat and eggs. Um, so I'm going to be saving up my meat for now. And let's see. So what kind of helmet I have on compared to that? 10% XP gain. Good heavy armor rating. This would decrease the food and water use. It's a slightly worse armor rating, though. I think I'm gonna store that away for now. Might use it in the future, though. I'm not sure. Alright, we're looking pretty good, though. Um, I'm gonna keep this on me. I think I'll do some quick upgrading uh, before... I hop off and end the episode. Let's see, where is my nail gun? There it is. It's gonna make upgrade a lot faster. Alright, we are out. Some good XP from that, and upgrade my house a bit more. Do I have any more in here? Doesn't look like it. A lot more clay, though, so I would be able to make a lot more. Um, a lot more cobblestone. But I'm not going to do that right now. That's going to take some time. Alright, it seems like a pretty good place to end off the episode, though. Uh, base is looking good, leveled up a lot, and was able to max out the Spearmaster and the Deadeye. So the only uh, things I can do left in terms of spears and uh, sniper rifles is just getting better weapons, because uh, iron is not the best kind. You want um, steel spears, and you want a tier 6 steel spear is the best kind and then there are good modifications that you can add to them and then right now I only have a level action rifle and a sniper rifle is the best kind a tier 6 specifically is the best one so once I get those uh, the best kinds and also the right schematics or uh, the right modifications for it, and also the right schematics too um, because there are a bunch of let's see sniper ones that I can get uh, which will help me, and then there's also a bunch of... Actually, this just tells me how I'm doing with... Where is the... Oh yeah, I can scroll. Spear Hunter. So yeah, all of these. And then look at that. Kills with spears refill your stamina. So every time I got a kill or I get a kill with a spear, it would completely refill my stamina bar, which is going to be amazing. And then... 
Yeah, I have one that penetrate multiple targets. Spears have 25% chance to kill these and uh, bleeding damage. Yeah, and I believe that there is also one that uh, mod that I can add to my spear that allows there to be knockdown. I think, so I can knock multiple zombies back. Although that might actually be with the stun baton, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, regardless, there's a bunch more of uh of upgrades that i can do to improve my gear but we've made good progress so far i'd say this is a good time to hop off nighttime is about to hit so all right i uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye now